How you guys are doing? Alright, so let me tell you what prompted this video. I was on Pokemon Showdown watching the chat, and I saw someone post a comment, which I don't have a screen cap of, for, unfortunately, that made me go, LOL, what? It basically went like this. Ubers is definitely a tier that takes skill. Okay, seriously. I was like, what? Okay, first of all, that ranks up with the Earth revolves around the moon as one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. This is because the Ubers metagame is regulated very little, if at all. You can use whatever newbie strategies you want. Drizzle Swim? Do it. Sand with Excadrill? Knock yourself out. Speed Boost Blaziken? Have at it. Garchomp? I think I made my point. So in response to this utterly stupid statement, I decided to throw together an Ubers team and show you just how easy it is to win an Ubers game. Now, let's skip ahead to the team preview, shall we? So as you can see, we're both getting our weather on. He's got rain and I've got sand. Now I decided to pick the cheapest pokes I could think of while still maintaining decent team balance, so I have Speed Boost Blaziken in there along with Garchomp. Uh, Dialga is largely a special attacker. He's got choice specs, I think. My original strategy was just to use Blaziken to baton pass Speed Boost onto everybody but I couldn't use him as an offensive attacker at the same time, so... Yeah, I decided to drop that plan. Now, the biggest threats, probably Kyogre and Rayquaza, because Rayquaza's outrage can be fucking nasty. He has a Heracross in there, I'm not exactly sure what the deal is there, but Heracross can be pretty nasty if you cross him. Lol, pun. Um, so anyways... He doesn't have too much defensive stuff, Bronzong is probably the only thing, so... Yeah, I'm not too worried about getting cock-blocked by some walls. In any case, let's just go ahead and start the battle. So I lead off with my Fortress as he leads off with Deoxys A. Now he goes straight for the Fire Punch, that knocks me down to my Sturdy and stuff. So I go for Self Rocks to set up some hazards, because... Well, hazards are always a good thing. He takes me out with a final ice punch. Now here I'm thinking he's only got physical attack, so I switch in Gastrodon and try to scald him, but lo and behold he goes for Shadow Ball. Still doesn't do that much, so I don't really care. Deoxy's A's defenses are really weak, so this Scald knocks him down to his Sash. And I go for the Shadow Ball, and then I go for Scald, and that is the end of Deoxy's A. So now he brings in Bronzong, and I'm like, okay, Gastrodon can't really do anything to this, so I switch up to Dialga, and try to get it with a Fire Blast. He goes for Stealth Rock to set up his own hazards. And I go for that Fire Blast, and that is a dead motherfucking Bronzong. So now he brings out Kyogre, and I'm like, and I'm choice locked into Fire Blast, so there's not really much I can do. I switch up to Gastrodon to take the water type attack that I know is coming, and it comes in the form of Water Spout. So yeah, I get that special attack boost, he backs out of there, he's probably choice locked as well, so he goes into Palkia, as I go for that recover. Now Palkia goes for Spatial Red as I go for Ice Beam, that does a shit ton to me, and that does very little to Palkia. So I pretty much need to get out of there. I decide to switch into Tyranitar, hoping that the Sandstorm would boost Tyranitar's special defense enough where Spatial Red wouldn't do that much, and it does not, so I am pretty pleased about that. He switches out of there and goes into Kyogre, probably trying to get his weather back up, as I go for the Dragon Dance. Now I'm faster than this Kyogre, so I'm able to easily take it out with the Stone Edge. So yeah, it brings in Palkia again. I wasn't sure whether Tyranitar was going to be able to take this thing out, so I back out of there and go into Gastrodon to take the Water-type attack. And he does go for a Water-type attack, and Gastrodon gets that special attack boost again. He brings out... Heracross, as I go for Ice Beam on Palkia. Now he goes for Close Combat, I go for Recover. I wasn't really planning this, but the defense drops from uh, Close Combat will prove to be his undoing, because this next attack is going to kill, easily. He goes for Close Combat, his defenses get lowered again, and I go for the Skull, and that pretty much takes out Heracross. Now he brings out Rayquaza, 
And I'm thinking, okay, he's probably gonna go for Outrage or something, but he goes for Extreme Speed, and I'm like, what? So I go for Ice Beam, that takes care of Rayquaza. And yay. So now, I bring out, so now he brings out his last Pokemon, Palkia. He takes me out with a Spatial Rend, but that's okay because I've got Dialga waiting in the wings. And that's exactly who I send out, and I'm going to hit him with Thunderbolt and end the game. So yeah, that is game, and I really thought this match was easy as fuck. I rarely had to do any hard predictions, and honestly, I think that's representative of a lot of Uber's matches, because I've heard some other players complain that it's just scrubs with Charizard and stuff like that. So honestly, yeah, I think Uber's is really stupid, and yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. Goodbye!